Decoding the choice. Why the Indian Navy opted for Rafale M over F, A-18 Super Hornet. The Indian Navy's decision to acquire the Rafale M instead of the F, A-18 Super Hornet has raised questions and sparked discussions within defense circles. While both aircraft offer unique strengths, the Indian Navy's preference for the Rafale M can be attributed to several key factors. The Rafale M has been found to be a better fit for the Navy's requirements, stated an anonymous official, shedding light on the driving factor behind the decision. One crucial advantage lies in synergy. The Indian Air Force, IAF, already operates two squadrons of the Rafale fighter. By choosing the maritime version of the Rafale, known as the Rafale M, the Navy can achieve a level of commonality in terms of spares and maintenance. This commonality streamlines logistics and potentially reduces costs, making the acquisition of the Rafale M a strategically sound choice. The Rafale M boasts an impressive level of compatibility with the IAF's Rafale variant. This shared framework ensures more than 85% commonality, enabling efficient interoperability between the two branches of the armed forces. Crucially, the Rafale M is equipped with the advanced MBDA MICA missile, designed for multi-target engagements with fire and forget capability. In the realm of beyond visual range, BVR, air-to-air -air combat, the Rafale M features the MBDA Meteor missile, enhancing its prowess in long-range engagements. Comparatively, the F, A-18 Super Hornet presents its own array of strengths, including versatility, folding wings for carrier operations, and a dedicated electronic warfare variant. However, several factors led the Indian Navy to prioritize the Rafale M over the Super Hornet. One significant aspect pertains to the F, A-18's air-to-air missile, the AMRAM. While capable, the AMRAAM standoff capability may not align with the Indian Navy's desired operational parameters. Additionally, the political and strategic considerations surrounding the integration of nuclear weapons delivery systems played a role. The U.S. may have been hesitant to allow such integration, further narrowing the Super Hornet's scope for the Indian Navy's requirements. Moreover, the prospect of introducing an entirely new fighter aircraft would necessitate the establishment of a distinct training, maintenance, and logistics supply chain. Such a transition comes with significant costs and complexities. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to never miss an update.